something there. Oh well. Back to work. I wonder if the garbage chute actually is a viable option. Let's find out. Obviously, not if I do it that way, but I think I can get down it quietly. <gasps> Let me listen around. I don't think anyone heard that. Good. That actually was pretty good. <gasps> okay. Let's sneak over. Someone move. Who saw that? Oh goodness. Speed up. Okay, good. Now ah, we're ready to start clearing more warehouses. So, use our yellow key. We'll have to lock it and... You'll notice that all the counters are linked, which is good. We only have to set one of them back. Let's do... We'll do Lucky Cell and Tura next. Not again. trying to tackle the south side first because those are harder to sneak in and out of with all the extra traffic over here. Oh well. Oh, who was that? Who thought they heard something? even saying that. Alright, good. In Celentura's, there are two coin stacks on his table. There's a candlestick here in the bedroom. And... I can't remember where the key to his safe is. Yes, I can. It's good to <gasps> listen and make sure no one heard that. Yes, there it is. So put that back after we... That's our second secret out of 13. Selling tours golden dice. Bring our loot total to 365. I can 
put his key back. It's the gray one. Oh. What do you know? It disappeared. Okay. Well, I guess we don't have to put it back then. Yeah, if it disappears, it's excused. That's it for Selentura. So now... I'm going to hit Lord Porter's. I think that's up next. Yes, yeah, 6937. Obviously, bad timing. Mm, something there. Ay, 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 ay. Six nine three seven. Who's there? Okay, we're gonna have to either hide in the doorway, which I think is actually a fine option. Can't quite reach all the keys. Okay, well that's fine. Creep over behind him, no problem. And as always, free ourselves to run around by shutting the door. So here in Lord Porter's, I think all, most of the good stuff's over here. There are three statues on these shelves, worth 15 each. Brings our total up to 410. There are a couple of moss arrows if you're interested. There's another statue under the counter, brings our total to 425. And in the box, there are some coins, bring our total to 475. Now if we look here, let thine arrow fly into mine crystal eye. Using an arrow here busts Supreme Ghost, but I don't particularly care. Another statue brings our total to 490. Like I said, I prefer Perfect Thief over Supreme Ghost, where... Particularly when the bust is something like that, just having to 
use an arrow, you know? So, although they intended you, I think, to use a broadhead arrow to bring down the elevator to the second floor of Lord Porter's, you don't have to. Because you've got your handy dandy rope arrow. You can just get up there that way. I think so, anyway. If I aim right, I could hit that button with an arrow and activate it. <laughs> See, they meant for you to do that, but that's easier. And that manages not to bust supreme. What's this? Pull lever to open door, emergency use only. Now the patrollers can see you through the windows up here too, so remain careful. Here on the second floor of Lord Porter's, if you head over to this little niche, you can find a nice bedroom. Reading material. Today's appointments. Jarrett Brunel, charge 150. Chris Laskowski, charge 150. James Geiger, charge 175. Adam Ellis, new client, charge discount rate of 100. Norman Drewert, free of charge as usual. John Lalibert, feel free to charge this guy as much as you want. He's weird. Mistress Carey, she's here for instruction. Sean De Jesus, charge 125. He tips better when we charge less. Marco Lucci, find a reason to send him away. I think he's an undercover blue coat. Lord Porter. In the box is a purse, brings our total to four s or to five forty. Next to the bed, that while the texture is off is actually a coin, brings our total to five forty five. And the vase under the bread brings our total to five seventy. Next, I think I'm going to hit E.B. Bramricks, which is 7732, I believe. Now, for the descent, we can use the elevator. And you actually want to, is that gives you credit for the third of 13 secrets. Then you can just send it back out. Now we gotta move back out. I couldn't actually hear it over the door, but he almost certainly first alerted. I'm gonna give him a few seconds. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. Now from... this is really the first one where it's easier. <gasps> to sneak over to this side, which is good. Hmm. Thought I saw some. Okay, I guess we have to wait for him. I almost forgot about that guy. Now I'll just point out that 
unless you're into potions and such, there's really literally nothing you need inside Lady Angelica's experimental apothecary. I'll open it up anyway, just so I can... Excuse me. Make sure I read any documents and such, but... So wait for him to walk past again, heading the other way. Reason being, he can see inside the shed. Through the windows. Relock the door behind us. Once we slip into Bramrix, let's read this scroll. State of Gilver Exporting Company. Our shipment to be exported overseas to Governor Horridge is ready. It is waiting over in Gilver's area and will be shipped out tomorrow afternoon. Having to replace last month's shipment that was lost at sea is putting the company in serious financial trouble. Gilver took out a loan from the First City Bank and Trust to cover the extra expenses. If we don't increase profits next month, then we won't have enough money to stay in business. Fortunately, we just received an unexpected order this morning, and this will bring in some extra money that we can use to pay back the loan. I just had a new batch of shipping labels printed out, and I will bring them over to Gilver in the morning. Almost makes you feel bad. Almost. We need this shipping label. That's really the only reason to come into Bramrick's. So... I think it's clear out there. Just gonna listen and make sure he didn't first alert. I think I want to do Gilver next, actually. 7933 Lock 
the door behind us, as always. And then we'll head over to Gilver Exporting Company. It's it's the last one that's you know kind of tough to get into. This will actually be a good opening once he's clear, though. Nobody better be taffing. Just make sure he's actually clear before you make your run for it. Excellent. So here in Gilvers, we can put the new shipping label on there. And that takes care of our first objective. Excellent. So while we're here in Gilvers, First things first. Okay, I have some trouble getting up that one, so. Here's some reading material. Journal entry number 4279. I don't know what is happening to my business. Every attempt to gain extra profit only leads me to more loss. On paper, every business plan that I devise with Bramrick seems flawless, but in practice they always fall through. Last month's overseas export to Governor Horridge was supposed to make us rich, but the ship never made it to its destination. I suspect piracy. I had to take out a loan just to cover last month's losses. I was hoping to have this reshipment to the Governor out the door two days ago, but my workers seem to have a hard time toting that barge and lifting that bale when I really need them. I would fire them all in a second, but I wouldn't be able to find anyone to work for what little I can afford to pay. I just finalized the governor's shipment, and I had my secretary run over to Bramrick's office to grab the shipping label so that it can be attached to the outgoing crate. I'm going over to the crippled Burrick for a drink, then it's back here for more paperwork. Now behind his banner is a diamond, which we can just filch without destroying it. Brings our total to 670, and is our fourth of 13 secrets. Now we need to head up to the second level of this of this joint and plenty of goodies up here. If you get up on top of all this and then Slide down into here, and be careful about noise, because I think you can alert people inside here. That chest has a goblet in it, brings our total to 695. Down on the floor is another chest, in which there's a ring, brings our total to 745. <laughs> And then, gotta work our way back out. Ooh. Thankfully no one was around. Then on the shelves there are seven plates, and only one of the bowls is valuable. That's a junk plate. Well, I guess there's only the one bowl. 
Seven plates and one bowl on the shelves bring our loot total to 825. So now we can just ride back down to the ground. <laughs> Decide which warehouse to do next. I think I'll do Lady Angelica next. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go up and tell him. No more guard duty. Six half and years of guard duty. I'm gonna put my finger up and say uh, I've had enough. That's it. Hello? Crud. I thought I had room, but he must have turned. No, he wasn't the problem. Is that you? Mm, nothing, I guess. Oh, oh it's the guy upstairs. I was like, who the heck is spotting me? There he is. What was that? Is someone there? Alright, alright. Obviously, not actually a good place to wait. Oh my gosh, really? So the second guard bumped the first one off of the path he was supposed to be on. And so he spotted me. Unreal. Where'd you come from? Well, now I might be in real trouble. Not again. He's gonna see me though. Freeze! Is that you? Hello? Anyone there? I can't believe this. Maybe that's good. Okay, good. Uh, I should be able to follow them down. Okay. 
All right, all right, all right. O six two four, Lady Angelica. Almost got in trouble there because Garrett launched off the door, but should be okay. Lock the door behind us. Potion testers needed. Inquire within. Yeah, reading material. Jabril, 50 and that is my final offer. By the teeth of my ancestors, I nearly think I could journey into the forest and cut my own greenery. Pagan bandits be damned rather than pay such prices. Lord Signoli. Hey, there's some potions and such on the shelves if you're interested. Invisibility, I think. Slow fall. And... Ooh. That wasn't good. But, uh... And a healing potion somewhere, too. I don't think there's anything on her second floor. <laughs> Nope, nothing. Just some boxes. So next, we'll do Sid Capeza, 0457. Is that you? That was the guy on the top floor. Problem with those guys is even though they can see you, you can't hear their footsteps. It's moving around out here more, more complicated. I can't, hell, I can't see him either. I have no idea where he is. There he is. Saw his head moving around. All right. Oh. O four five seven is Sid Capeza or Capetza, if you want to be all fancy. And his entrance is right here by the start. This place looks like an inventor's shop. Got to be careful here. There's a scouting orb. Which is actually pretty handy, but... We don't need it. There's a silver nugget. And a crystal shard in here, which bring our total to 900, and you might have noticed, is sufficient to satisfy our loot objective. Those those two bits of loot are it for Capetza. So now... We need to uh, 
guess I'll do Kilgore next. 0590. I might need to sneak all the way back around the building for that. Let's open up Kilgore. Nope. Nope. <sighs> that ended up closer than it needed to be. Let's do this properly. Mantle onto the crate and everything. So once we're up here... I thought I had room. <laughs> What's that I see? There we go. What's that? I think I can do that in time. Hello? Nope, I can't. <laughs> is this a shadow over here? Why, yes. Yes, it is. time because of the other guy. Wait and sneak through behind him. to the front. The only reason we need to go into Kilgore's is for a secret, but I do like the secrets. Okay, let's wait for him to clear the spot.
Now there are two... I guess I missed it. There are two, uh... Guys who have a conversation here in front of Kilgore's. A Hammerite and someone who we assume, I guess, is Kilgore himself. Oh, we've got a disappeared door. Well, that's lovely. Now, they're actually scripted... To have their conversation, walk in through this door, which is why it's unlocked and opened, and then disappear. Now, if you're playing regular Thief, their script doesn't work, and they'll just stand there outside, which makes this part a lot harder. Taffer Patcher actually fixes the script so it runs the way it was supposed to. So I don't feel like that's cheating, eliminating a glitch. The last year has been very interesting. The Hammerites used to be my most profitable contract. I've been making weapons for them since I went into business, but now I rarely make anything for them. Their orders started to fall off about a year ago, and I became concerned about my future finances. My concerns didn't last very long, because I was contracted by the new City Watch to produce their swords and armor. The only problem I have now is I have nowhere to put all these old hammers that I got stuck with. So there's a water arrow on his shelf. And where we need to go is into this crate down here. Open the chest. Well, I guess we have to pick it open. Now, picking it open is sufficient to get credit for our fifth of 13 secrets. But we want to open it because there's a gold hammer inside, which brings our loot total to 925. Oh, good old gold hammers. Mm -hmm. So with that done... If you go upstairs, all there is is, I think, broadhead arrows and noisemaker arrows. And, well, there might be reading material, so I guess I'll go up there. I don't think so, but you never know. Plus, it's just, I don't know. I like having everything on my map blue. Hammers! Yeah, there they are. Broadhead arrows and a noisemaker arrow. And that's it. So next, we will hit Minel Stakes. That one's going to be tough. Very tough. Well, since the door has disappeared, I guess we can just bust on out. You can hear why it's tough already. Ah, oh, yes, our old nemesis, the spiders. 6013. Okay. Six zero one three.
on the other side. Mino makes the best steaks in the entire city. His recipes make him... Oh, uh, see? Yeah. I was worried about that. I might not, I might not be able to shut this Mino one. Mino makes the best steaks in the entire city. His recipes may catch me a pretty penny. So, there are two pieces of loot in here on the ground level. There are three spiders to worry about. Besides the one in the cage. Let me reacquaint myself with exactly where everything is before I bother with anything else. Okay, that's right there. And then there's loot in the cage. Okay. So... <clears throat> Having made it this far is good. Oh, somebody spotted me just then. Move too fast. Anyway, this place is impossible to get through without first alerts anyway, so... I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. But the big guy is a different story. Only first alerts. Good, good, good. You have to skip all this loot if you're going for Supreme Ghost. It just is what it is. So... Can use the, uh, pillar here as hardcover. Ew. So that's my old secret ingredient. to hide from the big fella. You can slip into the back corner and get the nugget easily enough without with nothing but a first alert. Wings are total to 975. Oh good, even that clang only first alerted him. That's very good. Back it up now.
Now... Actually, I'm, I'm not sure I want to do that. I might want to go straight ahead. Okay, nope, he's he's gone into search mode, so we can't approach from that direction. I'm guessing the other elevator is a better option for that. So, up here. Unbelievably. Just then, one of the guys patrolling out there saw me through the window. So anyway, Supreme Ghost is busted again in favor of getting some loot.